All right, guys, so uh, I want to do just a quick video on this, really just kind of comparing the actual GM 90 millimeter, you know, LS3, LS7, L99 throttle body uh, to the unbranded version, because quite honestly, these are quite literally quarter of the price of the actual GM one. And, and really, you know, I, I thought maybe this could be a good deal. So I went ahead and picked one of these guys up. And, you know, at first glance, I thought, wow, the uh, the casting's really nice. The machining looks good. You know, the butterfly, the throttle plate looks fantastic. Even the motor sounds real similar to the other one. And I thought, wow, maybe this is a great deal. I went ahead and put this on the car, okay? Uh, I fired up the car. Everything was fine. We're standing there watching it warm up. Everything looked good. And just out of, out of nowhere, this car just entirely shuts off. Uh, when the car shut off, my tuner looks at it and says, hey, man, you just threw an error code for the throttle body. Hmm, that's weird. All right, reset it, fire it up. Exact same thing happens. Well, it turns out what's happening is, is uh, because it has, you know, somewhat of a redundant system in it, anytime this does not match what the pedal says, of course, that means that something's gone wonky, and we certainly don't want a throttle body to go rogue on us, uh, the Haltech is a smart enough ECU to where it just simply shuts the car off, right? Of course, that's what you'd want it to do. Um, so kind of take a deeper look into this and, you know, and I thought, well, let, let's go ahead and take a look at this and take these guys apart and really see what the difference is. Where does that money go? Why is it, you know, why is this thing a quarter of the price of an actual GM? So I went ahead and took the screws out of this. Uh, I should mention too, of course, the unbranded ones, uh, they'll just have, you know, just a, a blank square in it, whereas, you know, an actual GM one will actually have the GM logo there on it. But uh, take a look at this. Taking this guy apart, uh, the first thing that you're going to notice is um, there's nothing other than just that one gear drive there. That's the only thing that is connected, you know, really from the throttle plate back to, quite honestly, the single piece of electronics that they have inside this guy. So what does that mean? Well, that means that this is uh, pretty much nothing more than uh, just a stepper control, it's a stepper motor. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, this is the kind of equipment you would find in a low dollar printer, uh, not a mission critical throttle body. So just for comparison's sake, I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and take the GM one apart and see where all of that money actually goes. So I did take the screws out of this one, um, and this one is the one that will be going on the car as well, but we'll show that here in a second. Take a look, you know, of course, uh, there's a little, you know, kind of a blade on this guy that actually goes into a proper throttle position sensor. Now, uh, you guys may recognize this. This is actually a pretty uh, common component that GM uses in, in multiple drive-by-wire throttle body systems, that little cover plate and whatnot. Um, so, needless to say, there's a big difference uh, between just a an unbranded one versus an actual GM one. Um, you know, this is something I thought you guys would really get a kick out of. Where does this money go? You know, for me, looking at this, um, that I, there, this is going in the trash. Uh, this is absolutely garbage. I mean, it may make a pretty cool wall ornament or something along those lines, but uh, that's as far as this thing's going. Um, other than that, it's going into the trash or, you know, who knows what. But uh, I thought you guys would like to see this, so I wanted to just do a quick video on it. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys.